Well, it gets a little bit light, but the tree lot blocks a lot of it. Got concrete underneath it and it's very brittle. Homeowners in a west side neighborhood calling on the city to fix a dangerous hole that they say is growing on their street. They claim this hole can send drivers down an embankment and into that creek. CBS4's Mike Sullivan went to see it firsthand and found out about plans to fix it. Two months ago, that's when the Campbells moved to Biltmore Ave. About the second week of May. That's when Michael picked up his phone. It just disgusts me that I can't get nothing done. His fingers dialing the mayor's action line once again. My neighbor told me she called last year and it was only a foot away. Now, this nearby hole protrudes six feet into the road, roughly 20 feet down an embankment. We had an 86 year old woman come through here Memorial Weekend and went off in here. A friend of mine was here with his tow truck. We pulled her out. He says a homeless man on a bike fell down into the creek below. Could you imagine a kid falling in there and can't swim? Say you're coming around this turn at night, not paying attention. That's all it takes. You may find yourself in this hole. Even if you graze the edge of this pavement, you may be in danger too. Look how loose this ground is. All the dead was come out, put two cones up, and no one's been back since. Indy DPW says the issues span numerous engineering departments, the erosion being overseen by one, the floating guardrail another. In the short term, the guardrail, and I imagine some of the pavement issues may be able to be addressed. The guardrail is being held up by trees. As you can see, that one down there has grown into it. The erosion is a long term challenge. DPW saying further up, the embankment is more concrete laden. This area is not. We don't want to just put pavement right back right there if it's being undermined by erosion. In the meantime, I just hate to see something happen to somebody, you know? Which is why Campbell stands guard by his home, warning people who pass by. In the southwest side, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News. So after we reached out to DPW, a member of their engineering team showed up at the hole to speak with Mike Campbell. DPW says they are assessing those guardrail issues.